So, the weirdest thing about walking on top of frozen water is the fact that if you get a little bit of a warm-up, the snow gets all slushy. And then you start feeling really, 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 really insecure about walking on top of all of the frozen water. Even though you see snowmobiles and vehicles out on it, so you know it's fine. But it does make you feel a little bit nervous when you're walking through puddles. <laughs> Especially when you remember that it's at least at least 15 feet deep where I'm walking. It's all right though. Like I said, I actually see plenty of uh, vehicles out on here. Just one of those things. Also, something smaller than me and probably cuter than me went uh, trekking through the snow. I think that's my favorite part about the whole winter thing is all of the animal footprints that you actually can see. Like, you don't see nearly as many in the summer. But the snow does a wonderful job of just kind of showing who was where. It's kind of fun. Also, I think the Blue Jays want me to come home and feed them. <laughs> so demanding. Oh, it got deep over here. I think we only got like maybe four inches last night. Maybe a little bit more. But when you get out on the lake and it's all blowing into fun little drifts, it makes it a little bit more of a challenge to walk through. And this is where I remind myself, hey moron, you know you have snowshoes, right? <laughs> Forgot about them. But, anyway... Oh yeah, that's, that's some interesting puddles. <laughs> Those will all be solid by tomorrow if the weathermen are right. Which, if they were wrong, I don't think I would object all that much. I really think they want me to come up and put out seeds. Also, I'm not sure if the snow is done or not. I don't know. The sky doesn't look too bad that way. But it looks kind of bad that way. <sighs> Whatever. Since I can't control the weather, I guess I'll just put up with it. Also, you know, it's kind of funny. I spent all that time digging these steps out, only to have them get filled back in. Which is a little frustrating. I didn't actually shovel them today. I just kicked off the snow as best as I could. <sighs> Winter Wonderland. Or something. Throw out some seeds for the chickadees. Hi, baby. You guys are so cute. <laughs> I spent all morning, with my son's help, getting this all shoveled out. Well, not this, obviously, because this has not been shoveled. And... Maybe won't. Not sure. But we got the driveway done. So that part was good. It's getting to the point 
where we're running out of places to put the snow, which means I'm going to have to come out and shovel the tops off of these snow banks. Never really my favorite thing to do, but extremely useful. Because if you don't do it, there's a squirrel up in that tree. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't do it, it really makes shoveling even less of an enjoyable experience. I do know that the snowmobilers are all very, very happy because I saw them zipping around while I was out shoveling. So, I guess I'm happy for them.